everyone welcome to episode 19 of model car memories I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button on that I'm going to do an unboxing today so pull out here AMT kit 1966 stingray um, the exclusive 396 Chevrolet turbo jet V8 engine uh, so it comes with a custom hood scoop, supercharger, custom exhaust stacks, drag slicks, uh, fuel tanks, drag chute, uh, customized by the Gene Win Winfield. So there's a customized version of it. So okay. let's go ahead and uh, open this up here. See what's in it. All right, so we've got the body here. Body looks like it's in really good condition. Molded in white here. Got a little thing there where the hood rests. Looks like it's kind of molded different from the other side there. All right, got the interior. That looks good. All right, here's the chrome T. So we have four. With, looks like something's missing here. We'll see if that's in the in the box later on. Like a roll bar for the custom kit. You got your chrome valve covers. Looks like uh, what are those? I guess carburetors. If you can do. Yeah, four carbs on it, I guess. So there's that. Okay, so I said some more wheel parts, stock headers. Okay, there's the side pipes. You, I guess you have to paint those. They didn't come in chrome. Okay, there's some a little bit of windows here. Or something let's see I don't know where does that go doesn't look like it goes on the stingray interesting okay there's let's set that aside okay there's your hood optional hood scoop there's some more headers there firewall battery radiator No, oh no, this isn't good. Oh, looks like the tire has sat on and melted the back glass there. That's a shame. Like I said these kits have been sitting around a lot of times in the attic. Okay, there's your floor pans and chassis. Some more engine components. There's some custom headers there. Looks like the fan belt there's a little warped. Okay, ah, oh, there's a custom hood. Right there. I don't know if this one's, yeah, that's another custom hood scoop right there, part of the Gene Winfield thing. Oh, there's a helmet. Let's see what we got here. I see some lap belts. There's your dash. Okay, I'm gonna empty this out. And uh, okay, and there's the two axles. I'll leave those. Oh no, it's just stuck in there. Okay. As well. I did get some tips from some people talk about putting everything in plastic bags. So I've got some plastic bags to put a lot of stuff in. There's another set of headers. All right, you got two different engines here. Okay, looks like a little bit different on the transmission from one to the other. So these, one engine's a little wider than the other, so. Steering column. 
these wheels are stuck. Okay, got those off. There, there's your parachute. Some headlights. So the tail lights. There's a blower. Intake manifold. Looks like a, there's another oil pan. So it's a little bit more heavy duty compared to the other one. So looks like you can kind of mix and match and make whatever engine you want. So, all right, first things first here. Let's, uh, I don't see the slicks on here. So my stepdad must have grabbed those and put those in another kit or something like that. The, right, the drag slicks aren't here. And then the wheels that they show on the box, those aren't in here you got the cot you got the stock wheels are here okay I got another bag for all these loose parts so let's tidy this up first here and then we'll get into the instruction sheet on that so the air cleaner those looks like some pipes include those in uh, those got melted a little bit you could probably you can probably salvage those. Looks like the big, the biggest thing here is that rear glass. It's just it might be completely unsalvageable. I really don't know what that. I'll put that glass with there. Okay, so we got stuff in the bags. Help protect it. All right, let's take a look here at the instruction sheet. All right, so. So you can do a stock 327, optional 327, and then a custom 396 engine on this. So, okay, yeah, Weber cars, two pieces on each side there. And they like to locate tubes so they overlap. So that's your, that's another custom option there. Chassis and wheels. So you get drag slicks, stock wheels, knockoffs, Winfield Terra Torque wheels. So those are the optional wheels, and like I said, they are missing. I have not seen them. Okay, roll bar for the interior, lap belts, Hurst shifter, and the regular shifter. I didn't see the Hurst shifter on the T there. Of course, I wasn't looking for it. Okay. And then the body assembly, special AMT car model subscription offer. Get car model for 25 cents a copy. If you can't get car model regularly at your local hobby store. Okay. Let's go to the back side of the instructions here. Okay, final assemblies. So stock hood. Okay. And the custom so there's no there's nothing custom on the bumper it so Lucas road lights custom grill uh, you can do a hood scoop the stock hood custom exhaust stacks let's see you're racing oh differential oil cooler drag chute push bars custom grill fuel tanks up front Okay, drag note. Trim rear wheel wells along scored lines for proper clearance when locating racing slits. Okay, I'm going to see if I see. I can see the score lines in there. Yeah, you can kind of see them on the inside of the inside of the wheel well. You see some score lines there. So, okay. That's that, the 66 Corvette Stingray. I did not see a decal sheet. Of course, it might be in my box of, of decal sheets. I did not look in that before before doing this. So, so there you have it. The AMT 1966 Stingray. Like a two-in-one, three-in-one kit. So, but thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you, like I said, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Uh, I'll post some pictures on the Instagram page as well. If you check that out, I'll have close-up pictures on that page. Um, 
But uh, thanks again to all the new subscribers. Uh, I like your tips and stuff, and I'll try to incorporate them as much as I can. Thanks.